Hey everyone, this is Mushroom and we are back with episode 6 of the Island Extension mod. Um, thank you for everyone who watched my last video when we were touring most of the mod. I know that there was some stuff that was left out of it, um, but don't worry, we're going to come to those in other episodes, but there was just a lot. I know that that was a very long video, and for those of you that watched the whole thing, I am just so grateful. I, I love having you guys around. That's one thing I find whenever I film videos. Um, I'm just so excited to see your guys' reactions to it, um, which I'm just so lucky to have you guys, and I'm so thankful. So um, today is going to be a bit of a shorter video. Um, we're actually uh, since we found different spots that we want to build, um, I decided that uh, we're going to live on the teleporter island, which I know that wasn't where everyone wanted to live. I just found for convenience, um, it would kind of help me make the best possible content for you guys. So um, I am not much of a builder, unfortunately. I, I built our starter area in here because there was already a bunch of rocks. Um, so I thought of something fun that we could maybe do. So I was looking through mods and I found one. Um, it's Highland Homes by Eco, which this little Eco's Highland Homes crafting table, which is absolutely adorable. I love it. Um, there's a bunch of pre-made uh, homes that you can use. Um, so I've made a few of them. Um, I'll show you a few. So there's different tree houses. Um, log cabins, uh, literally like a hobbit hole door, um, bridges you can build, there's like different clothing, like uh, there's a bunch of role playing stuff, um, and a bunch of foliage that we can make, um, okay, we're, we're going to make a few plants because, and a few mushrooms, because I, uh, we need mushrooms, like it's, this is, I need to stay on brand for my channel. <laughs> Um, a couple things just before we fly over to the teleporter island um, that are new. I did just so that you guys wouldn't have to watch me do boring teams. I tamed up a uh, Dodicarus and I named her mm. Dojo just because I thought it was cute. And we have a couple different, um, a couple different thorny dragons just to help us get wood and. Um, just to help us get wood and stone. So, uh, the only other thing that's different, also, I love our little backyard area here. I'm going to be kind of sad to, to leave it. Um, I found a, yeah, a little chibi in a drop. It's a little, e um, Eclis chibi, which I love it. Um, it's, it has little purple, uh, socks, which are so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so I have to uh, come up with a name for this. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. So um, I'm just going to take a fly over to our new home. Also, um, we do have a name for uh, the griffin. His name is Peter. Thank you so much for giving me the name. I really appreciate it. Um, so we're just going to fly over and I'll bring you back once we get there. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, and as I mentioned, we're on the teleporter island, so on the map, oh, we have most of the map cleared off, so that's really good. Um, on the map, uh, yeah, we're, um, about, uh, 50, 70-ish, 48, 70, 68-ish, um, somewhere around there, if I'm reading, if I'm reading that right. Um, okay, so we have a few different options. I cleaned off, um, an area which is really flat and um, it's really safe. Uh, Sir Caveman had actually commented on the last video and mentioned that no uh, creatures spawn here. So this will be an awesome place to like raise an army. Um, I know that it's foggy and it's rainy right now, so it's hard to see, but we have a view all of the um, ocean biome pillars and the whole extinction area, as well as like the Crystal Isles area. Um, so I, I kind of love that. Um, so I made a few different options for um, our main house. So um, let's just, ooh, we're not living in the barn. Um, we're not savages. <laughs> okay, so this one is um, Darkwood Treehouse. Um, ooh, my goodness, is this quite large? Is this, 
Um, one moment. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty close to the edge. Um, I absolutely love this, that I get to live in something this cute without having to build it. Um, nice space, nice space. Enough for us to put, like, maybe a little incubation area in. Ooh, and we have a nice view. Um, man, I love these mods. Like, um, after going from console arc to, uh, like, modded arc, it's just, it's, like, a huge difference. Um, let's try the cobblestone cottage and see if we, ooh. Um, oh wow, this is literally, this looks like something that you would find in the Shire. Um, also, I, I really like Lord of the Rings, um, in case any, in case you guys couldn't tell, uh, I've read the Lord of the Rings series, like, probably 20 times. Um, okay. Oh, and you have a little, like, room? This could be, like, a little bedroom or something. I could put, like, a little bed and a dresser. Um, very cute. Not as spacious as the last one, but I don't think that that really matters. Um, I think we're gonna have this guy around in some area. Maybe, um, we'll put, I don't think that we'll have this as, like, our main area, but we can maybe put, um, like, all of shoulder pets or something in it. Now let's check out the lodge. Um, the glare is probably going to be quite intense up here. I kind of like it a bit more, like, in the corner here. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like we built right in a mountain. Okay, so this is quite large. Um, I think the lodge is going to be the winner, guys. Um, it just, it has, it seems to have the most space for us to put all of our workshop stuff. Um, but we can have, like, multiple different houses for different things. Um, so we just have one more that we're going to check out, and then we're going to probably place, figure out how we're going to place different things. Okay, so the very last one that we're going to check out, um, is... The cobblestone cottage, I believe, is what it's called. Plaster cottage, plaster cottage. Um, okay, very cute. Yeah, so it's the same size as the other cottages, um, which is still really nice. It's just it's not going to be what we want. Oh, um, I don't know if you heard that, guys, but, uh, there's an OSB drop that just, uh, fell. Um, actually, that's going to be one of the good things about living here is we'll be able to hear the OSB drops. Um, we're going to have to get, like, more decent teams <laughs> before we can do them. Uh, but yeah, that'll be something we can look forward to. Um, okay, so, uh, we're going to put down the lodge, um, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put everything down, um, kind of how I think might work out for us. Um, I want to have everything kind of centered around that area there, which is going to be kind of different vibes than the Hobbit house that we're going to have going on. Um, but yeah, uh, that's okay. We'll have kind of Hobbit, like I want it to feel like the Shire out here. And then, um, high tech in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to place everything, and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, uh, so we're back, um, and so this is the next day. Anyone who hasn't noticed, I actually, um, got a new microphone. It just came in the mail, um, so previously I was using a headset. Um, this is actually, uh, like, a, mi a real microphone, so, um, hopefully the audio quality will be significantly better now. Um, well, that's the hope anyway. <laughs> it's not a great microphone by any stretch, but, you know, it, it should be a little bit better. So, the base is basically done. Um, that's really cool. I love this island. Like, that's really pretty. 
Um, so I'll give you a quick tour. So, as I mentioned, we are on the teleporter island. And we are in the flat area. So, um, this is kind of like where you can fly in, like a little break in the trees. Um, we have a couple little flowers here. So, um, I like to call this the Shire because it's like a little hobbit village. It feels like it. Um, so I'll do a little run around. Lots of little fairy lights, of course. They're kind of my favorite. Lots of flowers. Um, let me just gamma up a bit. Um, I know it's pretty dark on YouTube. Let me gamma four. Okay, yeah. It's pretty dark on YouTube, so I want to make sure that you guys can see it. So, um, this is the main workshop base, of course, right to the left of the teleporter room. And I will mention again, like, this is my own private unofficial server, so I'm not blocking anyone in. I'm the only one, um, playing on it. So, uh, yeah, so this is the little lodge. Um, so this is just for, like, workshop stuff, so... We have our little stuff down. We finally have a fabricator. We're moving up in the world, guys. Um, and we have a good amount of metal going, too. Um, all the basic stuff. And this is, I know, I know, I know people are going to be mad at me for this one. Um, but the cables. The cables are up. I tried to put them underneath the house. Um, it didn't work. So I know that this is not pretty. But it's just going to have to be what it is. But I put a door there so we can shut the door. You guys can just pretend like that doesn't exist. All of the, uh, you know, people who are into building. Um, and we have, yeah, our mushrooms, of course. You gotta stay on brand. Um, so this is the barn. And we moved over a lot of our teams. Uh, like, I think the only thing that I left over at the old base was a raptor. Um, but May is just going to have to, um, figure out how to survive on her own, I guess. Because I don't know if I'll be back over to get her. Um, so this is pretty basic. Just, you know, a little dino barn. Um, I don't know how long it's going to work for us. We'll probably run out of room really fast. Uh, but it should work for now. And this little guy working so hard. I wish I could give you a snack or a pet because you are just a gem. There's a little scorpion. Oh, I think the scorpion is like scaring the chally and that's what's making him... I don't know. It's 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 working. <laughs> um, so, just over on this side of the village, we have the little... Uh, it's an outhouse. Um... But there's nothing in it, but, I mean, everybody needs to use a washroom, so... Or needs a washroom so that you're not, you know, doing your business on the ground. But we're too poor for a toilet, so we just gotta pretend like there's a toilet in here. Um, yeah. The little outhouse, um, I was thinking about maybe, like, stuffing it with dodos or something, but no, we will put a toilet in it. Um, this next building I'm really excited about, uh, it's called an egg house um and this one does have a special effect so i guess there's like five or six different creatures when you put them in here um they lay uh they lay eggs more often so it's very small i think it's like dodos and penguins and stuff that you can put in here but i mean still it'll once we get the kibble farm going that'll be very very useful and this is the cottage. Um, so there's, so, um, I'm like, I'm thinking maybe like it could just be like a bedroom. Like this is my bedroom. I have a sad little bed, but I have nice windows looking out into our courtyard, which is really cute. Um, I love this house a lot. I love all the circular doorways because it literally, it, it makes me feel like I'm a hobbit. Um, and over here, so there's really nothing over here. I'm going to put the greenhouse somewhere around here. Um, I kind of want to have the greenhouse kind of out of sight, though, because I'm going to have to do it with um, um, water reservoirs. And it's just not going to look very nice. Um, so this little house is a water mill. It has, um, I don't know if you can hear it very well, but yeah, a little old-fashioned water wheel. Very on brand. And I just, I really enjoyed this house, so I really wanted to include it. 
Um, you have the back with our fantastic view of extinction. Um, over there we have, you know, a little yellow drop I might have to go and grab. Um, and yeah, this is just a really nice little house. If, if I had, uh, if I had a roommate, this could be their house, but, um, yeah. So, very, very nice. Um, you put another little flower there. And then, yeah, you come over here and this is kind of like the little entrance to, um, our little village with a really nice view. And I'm thinking I might stick the greenhouse, like, right behind in here, maybe even, like, on this side just because it's not going to be pretty. I, I hate the water well, like the water reservoir things. So, um, this is our little village. I hope you guys are liking it. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys on the map, but yeah, so we're right by Green Knob. So when we can start doing boss fights, um, that's what we're going to end up doing. Um, I will mention, so, um, I have made up everything for an RG trap. Um, in, yeah, in this box. Um, so, like, we're going to be going for an RG next episode. Um, oh yeah, I showed you guys that blueprint, which I'm so excited about. So, that'll be good. Um, and also, I found another absolutely amazing blueprint over in the extinction area. It's very, very expensive. It's 10,000 hide per saddle, but... An Ascendant Rex saddle, um, which is amazing. So that's going to be very, very useful to us. We have Rex, and we have Spino, and we have Aloe. Um, so I was kind of thinking it might be kind of nice if we went and teamed another X Aloe, and then we tried to beat maybe like the Manticore boss with it. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on this little village. I personally and and am obsessed with it. It's like your little hobbit hole in the sky. <laughs> um, so lastly, just to fit, just to top off this episode, um, I was thinking we can finally go and really become a decent tribe and go tame a wyvern. I will just show you guys this is the view from up above. Um, I am obsessed with it. I don't know if anyone else is, but I definitely am. Okay, um, so let's go over and, uh, we'll just check out all of the Crystal Isles, um, islands. Um, also, I do find that it gets foggy up here sometimes, but that's just when, because we're in the clouds and clouds float around by us sometimes. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go and see what level dragon we can find. I'll bring you back when I get a decent level. Um, hey guys. So, we are out wyvern teaming. Um, and we had a bit of a snag, uh, so we found a 145 <laughs> tropical over, um, but as soon as I went to start recording, um, I accidentally punched him, so now he's really angry with us. Ooh, he may have calmed down though. Um, yeah, he hit us with one blast of, I think they shoot water, right? I want to say. I think so. Um, and yeah, that, that hurt. Um, so that is a little unfortunate because we had it trapped in a pretty decent spot. Um, did that not? Okay, I see it. I see it. Um, we left our griffin around here somewhere too. Um, so we're going to have to find that. Uh, so I had to do two different dino wipes because all of the levels of, like, literally every wyvern around here, um, were just absolutely terrible. <laughs> I think I had, I think there was, like, four level 20s all in one area, which is kind of nuts. Um, ooh. Ooh. You wanna, you wanna get stuck? Um... I shouldn't really, you know, it might be stuck right here, so I'm going to feed it. Hopefully it just stays. It's probably going to take a little bit since it's such a high level and I haven't really, um, like turned up the taming too high. So, uh, yeah. I also wanted to mention, um, I decorated the base, uh, 
like I added on um, it's like role play decor so I just like I added on ooh, oh no it's running um, I added on a bunch of really cool different uh, things that you can do to make the base look a little bit more um, you know like someone surviving on um, a dinosaur island um, okay come on come on come on oh no 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 oh no will you can we feed you anything um, so that is not good the Andrew Sarkis guys um, ooh, goodness. Ooh, is, okay, so he is faster than me. And a 145, my goodness. Um, okay. So we still have the pterodon. Um, so that's okay. Uh, I just... The griffin is on neutral, so hopefully that'll be good. Um, I would, I should have made more cryopods. Um, I think, like, we have one right now. Oh, yes. Um, so this is our, as I was mentioning, this is our bedroom. Um, so it's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. I'd be able to give you guys a better look, but I really want to try and get back to that island. So... Uh, I'm going to get the pterodon um, and start moving. So I will bring you guys back um, as soon as uh, we get back to the island. Okay, guys. Uh, so we got back. Um, I just took the pterodon over. We, um, I just, I got the Andrew Circus to run off the edge. Uh, I don't think I could have killed him with the pterodon, unfortunately. Um, but the tropical, uh, wyvern's still here, and we're feeding it, so with any luck, we'll get the 145 tamed up, and we'll have, uh, a pretty OP wyvern. If we can have, um, I don't, th I wonder, I don't think you could probably breed them on here, because you need, um, like, you need, m unless, I don't know if they take milk or not, um, I've actually never used tropical wyverns. Um, I've always just tamed them, uh, but yeah, so if you can breed them, I'll definitely go for, like, a male, um, like, if you can just give them wyvern milk, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see, but, um, this is one of my favorite things to tame, uh, like, these passive, <laughs> passive teaming wyverns, um, I know I've mentioned it before, but Crystal Isles is, like, my favorite map. Um, Crystal Isles in the center, so when Crystal Isles first came out, uh, and, like, I got to, like, tame wyverns like this, it was just, like, my absolute favorite. Oh, um, I wanted to mention, too, uh, just because I had checked out the other island, the island with the ember wyvern, wyverns, um, there's actually a honey cave over there. Uh, yeah, so taming bears will be, like, just stupidly easy. And probably Andrew Sarkis, like, if we want one. I, I'm not, like, a huge fan of them, but who knows? Maybe we'll end up taming it. We do, um, we're, like, my kind of plan for next episode is to probably look for, like, a cave team. Not that Andrews are, like, really good for caves. Um, they're a little bit too big for that, but who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll be in the cards. So, um, I'm just going to finish taming up this girl. It's probably going to take at least another 20 minutes, I'd say. Um, and I will bring you guys right back. Um, okay, I'm bringing you guys back now because something really weird's happening. Um, so we were at 50% tamed, um, and the taming bar is just dropping. I've never seen this before. Um, but yeah, it's just like, it's fully plummeting. Um, I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, I want to, I kind of want to see what's going to happen when it gets to zero. Um, yeah, like, this is the first time that I've ever seen this before. Um, okay, so it still lets me feed it, which is very strange. Um, 
let's just see what happens when it gets to zero. Um, this is like, this is a total bummer if it doesn't let me tame this. Um, because 145 would have been really, really nice. Um, 12.5, yeah. So if we can't tame this, like, I don't know if this will be an issue with all of the wyverns. Um, or maybe it's just, like, a setting that I messed up. Um, but it lets me tame other things. Um, so if this doesn't work, and if it just stays at zero, um, we may have to just, like, leave it and find a new one. Um, but let's see, let's see what happens first. Okay, so let me feed it a crystal. Um, it's taming bar isn't dropping right now. And it's food is completely full again. Um, that was the strangest thing, like, I've ever seen. Um, so that's like almost a half an hour kind of down the drain. Um, which is okay. Uh, so... I'm gonna keep trying to make it work. Um, I'll probably end up Googling to see, like, what happened with that. But, um, I'll bring you guys back if it lets me tame it. Um, alright guys. So, I'm bringing you back again now. Um, I googled what the glitch was. Um, and, uh, I guess if you take too long to tame a crystal wyvern or if they get too hungry... Um, then the taming will get all messed up. So that's unfortunate, but I mean, things happen. Um, so I'm just hoping, so, um, it dropped again. Um, I had it almost to 80% and yeah, it's dropping again. Um, so this one is not going to work. Uh, I'm not even going to feed it again because there's no point. Um, honestly, like, at least if it'll die, then another one will spawn. Um, my issue right now is it's just flying in circles. Uh, and I need to jump off. Um, so I don't think that we're going to die if we hit the ground <laughs> from this height. But I don't want to miss and fall, yeah, down that area. I really wish I would have brought parachutes. Um, maybe it'll just like die and it'll float back down to the ground. Uh, so this is kind of unfortunate with oh oh. So yeah, this is kind of unfortunate um, being the one forty five, but these things happen. Um, so I'll probably end up just settling for, I mean, any dragon is better than none. Um, so I'll probably just go find a lower level dragon. Um, and at least I can use that for getting eggs. I can use the griffin as well. Um, but it's all right. Uh, I feel like a dragon is probably just going to be a bit faster. So I'm going to let this guy die. Um, I'm going to get another dragon. Um, and yeah, so we'll probably end the episode off right here. Um, <laughs> I hate leaving the episode off on a failure, but I promise next episode will be way better. We'll have a wyvern and we'll, uh, get an urgy and I'm thinking maybe we'll just go hunt down some wyvern eggs. We have breeding turned up, so I do don't know if we'll even need to get milk. Hopefully not, but if we do, that's no problem. I can whip up a liver and trap as well. So, this is Mushroom, and thanks again, guys. Literally, <laughs> like, um, just seeing your comments, I'm just, I, I'm excited to see you guys all again. Um, I'm excited what you guys think of the new base spot, if you like it or not. Um, 
yeah, let me know. Uh, and if anyone wants to join the mushroom party, like, you are super loved and appreciated here. So, yeah, feel free to subscribe. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, so this is Mushroom, and I'll see you in the next one.